Alrighty, so they've now officially released Lady Zero out on Global. As you see here in this banner, you can get Lady Zero, original, and 2001 Zero, original. <laughs> if you have named so many characters Zero, you wouldn't have to do the original and clone parenthesis thingies. But we're going to look at both the characters because uh, both characters are in the banner. And see how good they are, see if they're worth it, see what they got going on. So let's take a look-see. Here's the rates. Alright, so here is Lady Zero. She does look pretty cool in the picture. Like, the art is good. The art is always good. Fires <laughs> all stars. Um, she's got the crazy eyes. Alright, so her leader skill increases Nest Fighter's attack by 40% and Power Charge rate by 20%. That's a good leader skill. Uh, there's a lot of good Nest characters. 40% uh, is good, and power charge rate by 20% is pretty high. I like that it's uh, more versatile because there are a like, pretty good handful of good nest characters. So if you got her, you could always throw her in as a leader, and you'd be doing great. Here's some of the Link characters and the relations here. Uh, of course, she has one with zero. Uh, funniest one to me is white-haired girl. <laughs> Apparently, if you're a girl with white hair and you're hanging out with another girl with white hair, you get increased attack by 7% and penetration. So, um, for all those girls that are out there with white hair, I suggest you go hang out with another chick that has white hair. Here's some of her cores. She gets a 12% blast skill damage increase. That's notable. Let's go down here. You can see some other ones. We'll go to the unique ones here. First one, white-haired girl. Go figure. Increases penetration by 400 for five seconds upon each attack and that stacks up to five times okay that's a lot uh and it reflects petrify effects so she can't be she can't be petrified and she gets a bunch of penetration that's really cool next one becomes immune to damage for two seconds now this has a 25 second cooldown and decreases the attacker's attack by 20 percent for five seconds now, I don't think that has the cooldown, the attack decrease, but the I mean the damage does because it, it needs some kind of cooldown. <laughs> but uh, that's a really good defensive core there. That's a really strong one. Take a look at her skills. Holy smokes, does that first skill do a lot. It's a blast skill, by the way, so it gets the damage increase. This is going to be like your main bread and butter skill here. So it deals damage and increases attack by 28% for 7 seconds. That's pretty high percentage there. And 100% chance to reset cooldowns upon a successful attack. Uh, now this this part of the move has a 15 second cooldown. Now there's a 30% chance to ignore the target's guard upon landing a skill. So now I think if they're guarding, there's a 30% chance to break it and that will reset the cooldowns because that is now considered a successful attack. So um, if this move did any more stuff, it would have as much text as a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> uh, that's a crazy move. It does so much stuff. The next one doesn't do squat unless you're in PvP, which is fine. I mean, this move does enough like for like three moves. So it deals damage, and this is a PvP exclusive. Target cannot roll for 4 seconds upon landing the skill. Disable target's blast active skills for 4 seconds when a successful skill included guard ends. So let's say you hit a uh, Orochi with this in PvP. They can't roll and he can't use any of his skills for 4 seconds. Even if he guards it. So uh, that's pretty crazy. There's a lot of characters that have some good blast skills, and you can kind of take that off the table, uh, as as well as rolling. So you hit somebody with a lot of you hit a lot of characters with this move right here. They're going to be sitting ducks. Her last move here inflicts damage, and she gains super armor for three seconds when using a skill, and petrifies the enemy for two seconds. So a move that gains super armor and petrifies. That's nuts, man. There's a lot of characters that have this move separated, right? Into, like, two different moves. Like, it doesn't even matter if this move here doesn't do much out of PvP. Because her other moves do so much. We'll go down here and see what a striker 
Funny enough, her striker skill is god awful, <laughs> but who cares about that? Let's take a look at him. Alright, so here she is. See her first move. This is a move that does like everything in its mom here. Sends the cat after him. So she doesn't have like the big lion, she's got like a giant like house cat. Here's the PvP exclusive move. Classic zero type skill here. And here's the last one. So you can see that again, it happens really quick. That's the petrify. <laughs> Her little hair flips are funny. Sassy. Alright, so here's her finisher. Alright, very cool. And here is her special that you'll need to get her card for. Not that cool, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay. It covered a lot of area though, so that's cool. Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about Zero because he is in the banner. You're going to have a chance of getting him as well. So uh, it's just an extra perk on your way to trying to get Lady Zero here. So we'll start with his leader skill. Increases blue element fighters attack by 40% and HP by 12%. You know, only blue characters. 40% is a decent amount, but only for blue characters, it's, it's fine. The man's got a relation link skill with everybody, so that's useful. Take a look at his cores here. He increases attack by 20% for 10 seconds and reflects stun effect when attacked. That's a pretty straightforward, just pretty good move there. Next one, increases active skill damage by 20% for 5 seconds upon landing summon Chrysalid. Chrysalid. <laughs> and 100% chance to reset cooldowns of his other move. I'm not even going to try to... <laughs> say that name and that has a 20 second cooldown so this is a really crazy uh core effect here based off of doing his moves so speaking of that let's check out his moves so here's his first one blast skill increases attack by 20 percent for 10 seconds that's a pretty long time it's a little bit less of attack percentage but it's a little bit longer so it kind of evens out next one 100 percent chance to ignore target's guard upon landing the skill so even if they're blocking, you're hitting them with this twirly skirt thing here. And here is his last one. Summoning Chrysalid. Deals damage and you gain hyper armor. And damp so hyper armor is super armor and damage immunity in one skill. So, and that's for three seconds. So that's a really good one. Let's see what they look like. All right, here's his first one. See how he summons the lion, kind of like Lady Zero, some of the little cat. Pretty, pretty similar moves. And here's the one where he summons Chrysalid. It's actually really cool that he summons another character like that. Here's his finisher. Very cool, very cool. Let's see the last one. There you go. Basically the same uh, as... Lady Zero, or I should say Lady Zero is basically the same as original Zero. <laughs> so both of these characters are actually ridiculously good. Obviously Lady Zero is stronger and the one you want to go for if you're looking for, you know, power and especially if you're going for this banner. With her leader skill being good, her cores are nuts and her skills are nuts. I think she's one of the stronger characters in general in the game at the moment. Now, I don't know if she's better than, like, Baseball Vanessa, which is out right now. I think Baseball Vanessa might be better in PvP, but I think Lady Zero is just better overall. And yes, I have to say this basically every time, because if I don't, somebody's going to say it in the comments. Yes, Nameless is coming out, and he's amazing. And Rock Howard is also coming out, and he's a fan favorite, and he's also really strong. I don't know how strong Rock Howard is versus everybody else, to be honest with you. But Lady Zero is really good if you got her. She's worth spending your rubies on. Like, especially if you just like the character design. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not into, like, the little girl thing. I don't, I don't know. Like, the character looks cool, like, right here. But, like, 
But if you look at her like character design here, it just looks weird to me, man. It's like it doesn't even look like the picture really. I don't like it. I just don't like it. <laughs> just like a little girl. I don't know. I just no. I, I say no. But she's strong though. Okay, so if that's what you're if that's what you're worried about, she is strong. So there's that. Now even though their supers basically look exactly the same, <laughs> uh, you will have to get her exclusive uh, special card here. Now you can get zero from here. You can also get his special card from here as well. So I wouldn't sweat getting him too much, of course. Definitely just focus on getting Lady Zero. But two fantastic characters. You would be happy if you got them. So I wanted to tag on this 98 Athena roulette here at the end. Just because I don't want to be bothered to do this. <laughs> Make a separate video just for her, I guess I should say. Uh, I'll show you why. It's because she is bad. <laughs> so look at her leader skill. Okay, so here's her leader skill. Recovers an active fighter's HP by 2% every 3 seconds. So you're going to see a reoccurring theme here that she's all about heals. Here's her cores. Come down here. Uh, first one recovers other team members' HP by 5% when tagged out. Ugh. No. Next one recovers HP of all team members by 10% when using ultimate moves. Ugh. Just, that's just nothing. I mean, it's, the heals are neat, but not like that. Her skills are nothing to write home about either. The first two just deal damage. Now, I will admit, the second one does a buttload of damage. 809%, that's a pretty good amount. And her thir third one, of course, heals. <laughs> uh, recovers 1.4% of max HP. So, a uh, percentage of HP is pretty good. A max HP, so that could be a decent amount of health, but eh, it's just not worth going for too hard, at least, I would say. And, of course, her striker skill also uh, heals, so just overall not that great of a character. And plus, she's Leona approved weakling. to garbage. So, me personally, I'll probably try to prioritize getting the all-star orbs at the King of Fighter orbs. Those are always worth doing the quest to get the roulette tickets to try to get those. Um, but her, uh, she's just not very good. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. Help you make a little decision here and there. You can see what she's all about. Let me know what you think of this banner. Should people roll on it? Do you think they're very good? Should they just wait for Nameless? <laughs> There's almost always somebody in the comments that says you should wait for Nameless. When Orochi, before Orochi came out, it was always wait for Orochi. <laughs> Please like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I do King of Fighters video videos all the time. I wish you luck in your summons. God bless you and you have a blessed day, y'all. Oh my god, Zero Shermy approved handsome. You gotta get him. Gotta get him. Get him, guys. Don't even worry about the Lady Zero. Just get regular Zero. Shermy approved. Get him! <laughs>